We're a little more than a month away from the November election in Michigan. Very much in play. Senator J.D. Vance made two stops here today. This on the heels of the vice presidential debate, where many talked about how well he did on the national stage. Fox 17's Matt Whitcoast was in Ottawa County, where Vance is pushing for people to get out and vote. Senator Vance getting a warm welcome here in Ottawa County. Vance hit on a lot of topics that some say are critical here in West Michigan. <laughs> Ohio Senator J.D. Vance in Michigan for the seventh time. Now, it's a beautiful fall day in the state of Michigan, and I hate to say it, as a Buckeye, you guys have got one of the most beautiful states in the union. The Republican vice presidential nominee pushed his supporters to get out and vote any way they can. If you're able, vote early, vote by mail, take advantage of what's out there for you. Because he doesn't need to convince any of these voters who to vote for. It was great. I mean, hearing his message and just getting out there and just the common sense of everything, it's its kind of a no-brainer who you should vote for. Show our support, show them that Michigan, you know, there are conservatives here. We are, um, we really do value, you know, everything that they're doing to try to impact the communities here in Michigan. The 2020 election is still a big issue for many. At the debate, Vance wouldn't answer the question about Trump losing the election. What do you say to both the Republicans and Democrats who are the township clerks, the city clerks, the county clerks, who and state clerks who are saying they are providing a secure and fair election? Well, what I would say to them is that part of the reason that people are skeptical of our elections is, frankly, a lot of national policymakers not doing their job. Wednesday, Vance hit on topics like manufacturing and the economy. This is the United States of America, and we believe in freedom. And, and if, if you want to drive an electric vehicle, by all means, drive an electric vehicle. If you want to drive a truck, drive a truck. If you want to drive a gas-powered car, drive a gas-powered car. And he says Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris would take the country in the wrong direction. On day one, she'll say, we're going to make groceries more affordable. On day one, she'll say, we're going to secure that southern border. And every one of us is sitting there saying, Kamala, day one was 1,400 days ago. Trump and Harris are scheduled to be back in Michigan to talk about why people should vote for them later this week. Reporting in Ottawa County, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.